What's up, guys? Look at me, not in a button-up and a hat. What is that? Man, crazy. Who is that guy on Terry's YouTube channel? Anyway, that's a little jab at those folks that are like, do you own anything other than a button-down? Yes, I have a quarter zip. One. Yeah, I've got a couple of sweaters and some t-shirts, too. Anyway, I just thought I'd come in here and talk to you guys for a few minutes. I'm on my way to a friend's house to help him move some furniture. Uh, he's he's as an old man. He's not really that old, but I don't even think he's as old as my dad, actually. But uh, not that my dad is old. Dad, if you're watching this, you're not old. You're older. I always mess with my dad and tell him he's the, uh, the older, less look, good-looking version of me because I'm the Terry Jr. You know, Terry 2.0, younger, better-looking I don't know that I'm better looking. Dad's got that salt and pepper look going, you know? That's nice. I think I'd look good with gray hair or salt and pepper hair. But I'm not looking forward to that anytime soon. I, I like my black hair, so. I got it cut the other day. Can't really tell. It's got a hat head, but it's nice. They did a good job. Um, so, and not a whole lot going on with me, just uh, working at our winter workshop conference last week in Gatlinburg. That was a lot of fun. Uh, met a lot of great new people, made some cool new friends, uh, karaoke a little bit. That was, ugh. you know, it takes some uh, liquid courage for me to karaoke. Um, a bunch of them are like, you've got a great voice, you need to do another one. And I'm like, no, mm -mm, that is the liquid courage singing. That is not my voice, not my real voice. So I'm not a singer, or at least I don't believe myself to be a singer. But, uh, you know, when you get the right person sings with you and you can harmonize or whatever, I think it can sound good. And I, I had a guy up there that he's the director in somewhere in, like, northeast Tennessee. I don't remember what county he's from, but... Excuse me. I did not sleep well last night. Um, he and I sounded pretty good together, I thought. So every, every time I sang, I was singing with him, which was cool. Uh, but, yeah, I had a good time there. Um, on my way to my friend's house now to help him move some stuff. What is that? Thought I knew that guy. Anyway, um, it's a work trip pulled over on the side of the interstate. Uh, oh, look at that. The sun's not shining anymore on my face. So. Let's see. Uh, reconnected with an old friend. Um, they look pretty far away, but uh, we're going to try and meet up sometime soon, I think, to catch up. And, uh, I look forward to that have a whole lot of what I would consider to be just friends uh, in my life anymore. I've let them all fall by the wayside and that's my fault. It's my problem that I have to deal with. So just kind of been hanging out with the dogs and training the pups a little bit. I'm still trying to find a home for Elsa but I'm getting vastly attached to her very quickly. Like I'm to the point now where I'm, I'm coming to terms with the fact that I'm going to be the guy with four dogs. I'm the crazy dog man. You got crazy cat ladies, you got crazy dog men, I guess, and uh, I'm going to be the crazy dog man. So, uh, the kids, it's what I call the pups, Sven and Elsa. Yes, they're named after Frozen characters because your boy is a Disney freak. Um, you know, they, uh, they are, they'll be five months old in February, right? Five months old in February. Um, they absolutely despise having a collar and a leash on. Um, so I bought them harnesses, hoping that maybe that would uh, maybe calm them down a bit as I try to walk them. I want to I want to leash train them early because I'd like to be able to walk all four of them at the same time. However, that is proving to be a difficult uh, a difficult undertaking. Lady doesn't want to go on a walk anymore, which I get. You know, she's an inside dog, but uh, Brandy loves it. I mean, Mama Dog, she when she sees me grab the leash, man, she is 100% like, let's go, let's do this. I'm going to pull you to the ends of the earth for about the first 10 seconds, and then I'll be good because I'll remember what we're doing. But as soon as I clip the leash onto her, man, she wants to just shoot off like a rocket. You're gonna hear my GPS here in a few minutes. I'm, I've never been to this guy's house before or wherever we're moving stuff to. But, uh, he, 
posted on Facebook yesterday that's like, anybody want to make a hundred bucks? I'm not going to take any of the money because, like, he's a friend and this is what you do for your friends. So, you know, if somebody else shows up to take the money, that's their business, but I just believe in helping people. So, anyway, um, so yeah, you're going to hear my GPS because I've never been there before. But it's somewhere in Rockwood. I forgot to put my necklace on this square. Excuse me, my gosh. Uh, last night I went to the winter banquet for the Order of the Arrow for the Boy Two Scouts. Two miles, take exit 338 for Tennessee 299 South, Westall Road toward Rockwood. It's like the longest directions ever. Like, why you gotta read it? Just take exit 338 and then tell me which way to turn. I don't, I don't need to, I don't need to know all the road names. Anyway, I went to the winter banquet. That was really cool. Got to see a lot of old friends that I hadn't seen in a while hang out with my old boss for just a little bit. Well, my old big boss, my old boss wasn't there, um, which was okay. But uh, got to hang out with my old big boss for a little while. That was cool. Got to see a lot of the kids I hadn't seen in a long time. You know, when you work at a job like the Boy Scouts, you, you, you get, I mean, you get attached to the families that you work with. And um, there were a couple of moms and dads that were there that, uh, you know, I mean, they wrap you up in the tightest hug you can imagine thank you, thank you for doing what you do and, and for being a part of our lives and, you know, they're like, we need to hang out, you need to come down for dinner, we need to come up there for dinner, they all always mention we need to come up there for dinner so, uh, speaking of dinner change the subject, you know me, I'm kind of random um, I got a Himalayan salt block for Christmas that I'm going to be using at some point this week to try and cook a steak or a pork chop or something. Half a so, mile. Take exit 338 for Tennessee 299 South, Westall Road toward Rockwood. Just three, just take exit 338. And it's going to tell me again in like 10 seconds. But I look forward to using the salt block. I'll do a video on that because I've never cooked on it before. Um, so you guys will be able to see me do my trial and error. And uh, Exit 338. Then turn right onto Tennessee 299 South. 38 turn right. There's only two roads, like, there's only, only three things you can do. You can turn left, right onto Tennessee right. 299 South, Westall Road. You literally just told me that like five seconds ago. Or you can go straight back onto the interstate. So just tell me turn right. You don't have to give me the road name. There's only one road you can turn right on. Continue on Tennessee 299 South for three miles. And then I'll turn left. Um, anyway. Where was I saying? What was I saying? So it's the salt block. I, I really look forward to using that. You guys know me. I love the pink Himalayan sea salt. I've always wanted one of these salt blocks. I've just never bought one for myself. They're kind of, well, they're, they're not terribly expensive, but it was like, you know, it's something I want. It's not something I need. I'm not going to spend the, like, I don't have the disposable income necessarily to buy that for myself for it to make sense. Does that make sense? Um, I mean, I could. I mean, I could go buy another one right now, but like I said, it's not something I need, it's something I want. And I'm trying to refocus my finances into buying things that I need, not things that I want. Doing things that I need to do, not things that I want to do necessarily. I want to buy the house. You know, I want to, uh, I want to travel this year. Um, I'm planning on going to Montana to see my cousin at some point this summer. Uh, I'm going back to Florida in a few weeks. I'm going to be going to, hopefully going to Alabama. That leaves a bad taste in your mouth to say that out loud. But I have a friend in Alabama I'm going to see, I hope. Um, plan on going to Chicago a couple of times this year for Cubs games and to see some family up there, up north. And I even plan on maybe making it to New York City and D.C. Um, sometime before the winter to uh, see my sister. She lives in New York. Well, she lives outside of New York but works in the city. So I plan on going to see her. And uh, I plan on going to D.C. just because I've never been. And they've added uh, flights with Allegiant to uh, D.C. from Knoxville. For um, I looked at a flight yesterday that's 45 bucks one way, so it's less than 100 bucks round trip. I can literally go for the day and uh, go to the Smithsonian, which is where I want to go. That's really kind of the only thing I want to do. I mean, I'd love to go to the White House too, but I, you know, I want to go to the Smithsonian and. Uh, and maybe the Lincoln Memorial. Like that, that's kind of like my two things I'd like to do in, in D.C. And I have a couple of friends that live up there, too, that, uh, you know, again, that I haven't spoken to in years that might, you know, for whatever reason, let me crash on their couch if, uh, if I wanted to stay for more than a day, but we'll see. Um, 
and then probably going to try and make it out to Wyoming uh, one time this year because they've added flights to, or no, not Wyoming, Colorado. They've added flights to Colorado as well from the Nashville airport. So if you don't fly with Allegiant, you should try it out. I love it. Um, I've never had an issue out of Allegiant. You know, I, I hear a lot of people say that they've had problems with delays and planes and all this other stuff. I've never had a problem with Allegiant. Like, I love flying with them. Quarter mile, turn left onto US 70 East. Right? See, that's not bad. Turn left onto 70 East. But, again, this road tees into the next road, so there's really only one thing you can do to turn left onto. You can turn left, you can turn right. There is no go straight option. Turn left onto US 70 East. I'm just not even going to try and tell them, actually, there. Because then they're going to tell me where I'm going after this. Continue. Continue on US 70 East for three miles. There we go. Uh, oh, I think this may take me all the way down to 27. Yep. So, anyway, um, it's kind of my plans for the year. Uh, working on a Boy Scout training thing called Wood Badge. For any of you guys that are scouters or have scouters in your families, you'll know what Wood Badge is. Um, plan on having that done sometime in the next two months, which would be great. Be a huge thing off my plate. Um, I've got uh, Merit Badge College um, coming up week Saturday, two weeks ago yesterday. So, or two weeks from yesterday. Not two weeks ago yesterday, two weeks from yesterday. Um, teaching Cook and Merit Badge to 16 kids. That'll be a lot of fun. I love doing that. Um, it's one of my favorite days of the year. Uh, this will be the third or fourth year that I've done it. So, super excited about that. Um, what else? Uh, let's see. I am... I'm almost there, so I'm going to have to cut this video off. But, anyway, if you guys... Uh, I'm going to go hiking at some point this week, too. I'm going to take a couple days off work because I've been working nonstop rewriting all these policies and stuff. So, um, I've worked quite a bit of overtime in the last four weeks. And I need a little bit of a break. I need to go freshen up, recoup, revitalize myself. So, there's snow on top of Mount LeConte right now. I might try and break out my snow gear and... I don't need a lot of like a lot of snow gear, but like I need my my ice at, my ice pick and all that kind of stuff just in case because it does get slick. I've hiked it once in the ice before and I was not prepared. Um, but somewhere I've got a box of gear for that, and I might just try and do that whether it's solo or with somebody. I don't know, but um, I'll be doing quite a bit of hiking this year. Uh, I've kind of set a goal for myself to hike uh, at least 750 miles this year. So I'm going to see how far and how fast I can push myself. Um, and I've also got that goal to lose the last 25 pounds that I need to lose. So um, it took January to kind of cheat on my diet a lot more than I should have. But I was still able, with walking the dog, I was still able to keep most of the weight off. So that was, that was okay. But I uh, figure if I go back on my diet, continue to walk the dog, and pick up all this hiking that I plan on doing, I'll be able to shed that weight pretty quick and be down to where I want to be. I'm almost where the doctor wants me to be, but I'm pretty sure at 165, 165, that's almost 50 pounds less than I weigh right now. And I don't think I look terrible right now. You know, I have this double chin thing going on, but, um, you know. Half a so. mile, turn left onto US 27 North, US Thank you, Lord. 70 East. Really? You had to add on that extra part too. Anyway, um, I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've got content that you'd like me to start working on or stuff you'd like for me to cook for you guys or whatever. Or if you know of a hiking trail somewhere in East Tennessee or Middle Tennessee that you want the to... The next left onto US 27 North, US 70 East, then turn right onto Leland Drive. If there's a hiking trail that you want to see that you can't get to because you're far away and it's somewhere in the state of Tennessee, message it to me or you know comment it to me and I will uh, I'll go hike that trail and I'll take you along. But until next time, I'll let y'all go and we'll talk to you soon, folks. Bye.